Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Where we are continuing on in a weird place because when I just booted up the game, it actually just told me I'm continuing on from chapters 0 and 6. So it's like a weird midpoint. <laughs> but we are almost about to begin the final chapter of this game. So let's continue on. Yep, see? Zero and six. A little strange. Huh? What is this? Oh! It's a door. There's a door. Huh? A door? <laughs> what, what kind of writing is this? Oh, that's so weird. I guess they're trying to say that he's confused, but like, it's a door. A door. Huh? A door. <laughs> like, okay, we get it. Why is a door here? Where am I? How did I get here? Where am I supposed to go? Sir? Alright. Oh, this looks familiar. Holy crapperoni. Now we're officially in chapter 6, it says. Time unknown. This is the school from the first game. So, wow. Huh? Isn't this a classroom? But even so, it's a very strange classroom. Why am I in a place like this? went inside the ancient ruin with everyone else and I arrived at a place that looked like a trial ground but then why it's not connecting I don't know why I'm here it's like there's no connection between how I left the trial ground and how I ended up here it's just like before when we were all gathered in that classroom just before we arrived at Jabberwock Island but where is this place? Is it somewhere on Jabberwock Island? Oh, ding dong, bing bong. Oh. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing. Mic check one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Hey, he's in his old office. And he has a regular drink rather than... <laughs> that blue drink. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy, you guys. At this point, I shall explain the graduation exam to you all. Mm -hmm. So please assemble at the gymnasium immediately. Huh? Did he say what I think he just said? Yes, he definitely said it. He said, Welcome to Hope Speak Academy. But, why would this place be Hope's Peak Academy? Not just that. What is the graduation exam? Isn't the killing over already? I don't know, bro. Let's look around for old time's sake, especially since this is all going to be new to him. What is this? In a normal classroom, there'd be a window, but instead, there's this iron plate bolted here. When I tried knocking on it with my fist, looks like it's a pretty thick iron plate. Is this to keep us trapped? What the heck? This place where iron plates are covering the windows instead of the classrooms. Inside the classroom. Is it really Hope Speak Academy? Oh yeah. Surveillance camera. Why would there be a surveillance camera inside the school? I wonder, does this have the same purpose as the surveillance cameras on Jabberwock Island? If so, who's watching us? Is it whoever's controlling Monokuma? Oh, I can't click on the violin. Okay, uh, just the clock, I guess. This clock doesn't have any hands. Oh. A clock without hands is meaningless. Why would something like this be in a classroom? All right, then let's go. Old building, first floor. Uh-oh. 
Even the hallway doesn't feel like a school at all. What a creepy place. At least it doesn't look like a normal school at all. It's definitely a lie. There's no way this place is Hope's Peak Academy. Is this creepy place the Hope's Peak Academy that I've admired for so long? For so long? It's probably a building that Munakuma made to startle us, just like the funhouse. That's right. It's definitely it. Munakuma said to come to the gymnasium, right? Then I'll go and definitely clear things up. Gosh, it's been a long time since we've seen all of this stuff. Look how glitchy everything looks. Interesting. Oh, it's been so long. Yeah, everything's all glitchy. Can't go the spare hotel. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's new. The AV room. Interesting. Storeroom. Can't go into any of this old stuff. Huh. Okay. Nurse's office, which Mikan never got to utilize. Nope. Alright. The gymnasium is here, right? Alright, I'm going inside. Something might be waiting, but I'm not going to cower away anymore. And so, I braced myself and cautiously opened the door. Oh. Normal doors don't open like this, but okay. Chapter 6. This is the end. Goodbye, Academy of Despair. I wasn't prepared for what was waiting for me on the other side of that door. It was a normal gymnasium. Damn right! Yo, Hajime! Yo! You heard the announcement and came here too? You guys did too, right? What's going on? Hey, what do you make of all this? Lunakuma said this place was Hope's Peak Academy or something? That is... That... that cannot be possible. Well, You're yeah. right. Any way you look at it, it's impossible. <laughs> Hello! How does it feel to return to long-awaited Hope's Peak Academy? Why, you... You... Hey, where are we? Why'd you lock us up this time? That's... What a shock! I just told you guys this is Hope's Peak Academy, you're not listening? Of course not! There's no way in hell that's true! No, no! Oh, but it is! I mean, this is definitely Hope's Peak Academy! It looks exactly like it did in the first game! Well, what's left of it anyway? What's left of it? Wah wah! Didn't I tell you before? Unfortunately, Hope's Peak Academy fell to ruin. Lies! You were serious about that? Stupid fool! I don't believe it! Hmm. But of course it fell to ruin. I mean, they were doing things that they deserved to be ruined for. What do you mean? I don't like this! Uh, anyway, I'm pretty disappointed. I went to all this trouble to bring you to Hope's Peak Academy and you don't feel surprised or nostalgic. Fine, fine. Oh well, it's not like I did this for you guys. <laughs> Even if you don't feel nostalgic, I'm sure someone is feeling nostalgic right now. <gasps> he did this for us. He did this for the players. Aw, how nice. Someone? Don't fuck with me! Enough with this bullshit. Just spit it out already. Where'd you take us, you bastard? They were not certain of my memories. I believe we entered the ancient ruin and... In other words... It means... I made this Hope's Peak Academy between the door to the ruin and the inside of the ruin. <sighs> my dog is barking. Every weekend, every time I want to record, she does this. <laughs> What do you mean, between? Hey, hey, hey! What do you mean, made? What's this? Oh my, are your minds getting the grumblies that only knowledge can satisfy? <laughs> good, very good. It's fine to hurry along to the graduation exam, but it's in my nature to provide a little entertainment. 
Entertainment. You're planning to make us do something, aren't you? No way! It's nothing to be so cautious about. It's not like you'll be making life exchanges or anything like that. Sing! It's just a simple graduation exam. Huh? Then, what is the graduation exam? Hey, um... Well, as the headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know? On one hand, I'm really happy that you're finally going to graduate. Are you sure about this? But on this? the other hand, I'm worried about whether you guys will be okay in the outside world. So... That's why I'm thinking about telling you what the outside world is like before you make a decision. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock Island or stay here. Huh? We're obviously going to get out. There's no way we'd stay here. That's right. This is annoying. Just hurry up and let us choose. Let us choose right now. No, no, no. You can't do that. We just started Chapter 6. You gotta have them build up, you know? The main cast hasn't arrived yet. Um, main cast? Hey, um... Meaning you guys are just extras until the guest of honor arrives. Who? Mysterious. So enough complaining already. Hurry up and start researching the outside world. What do you mean? Uh -huh. I have dispersed all the teaching materials you need for your research throughout Hope's Peak Academy. Well, I don't think this needs to be said, but... <laughs> all the information is accurate and contains no lies whatsoever. Otherwise, the main cast is gonna hate me. <laughs> so, please rest assured and strive to do your best during your field trip. And as usual, after leaving us with his cryptic words, Monokuma disappeared. Even if the setting had changed, even if the killing was finished, he was still the same as usual. Um, what is going on? Outside world? Main cast? Somehow, I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, hey! Like, he kept insisting that this place is Host Peak Academy. Hmm. But that's impossible, right? What are you saying? How do we make it back to Hope's Peak Academy from a tropical island in the first place? It's impossible. Why do you guys keep saying things are impossible? You've seen everything that he can do. It cannot be. There is no place for Hope's Peak Academy to exist on Jabberwock Island. <laughs> he said I wanted to go back, but I don't want to go back to a creepy place like this. Hmm. What does this mean? So many things I don't understand have happened on the island. This building is really Hope's Peak Academy? This is the Hope's Peak Academy I've been admiring for so long? What in the world is going on? Damn it. Why is this happening? Why? I was finally able to attend Hope Speak Academy. I finally thought I'd become confident in myself. Even so, I... Wanted to become Hope? If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Why? Why? I don't want to hear your voice. I don't want to do your voice. I don't want to see you. Listen carefully. The only hum the heal uh, the only humans <laughs> worthy of becoming hope possess amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. It has nothing to do with the effort. You must be chosen by hope to become hope. That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope Speak Academy that you couldn't even see that? Ugh. You're just some nobody from the reserve course who never had a talent to begin with. A nobody who forgot he was a nobody. That's all. Shut up. You're dead. If I really am a nobody, then you should have just left me alone. Why? Why do I have to go through something like this? Um, Hajime, did something happen? You were monologuing internally as usual. Huh? Hey, bastard! Now's not the time to zone out. Sorry, it's nothing. Um... I don't really get it, but is that all? 
I'm gonna do it! As long as I don't beat the crap out of Monokuma, nothing's gonna be solved. Is that what it means? Hey. So what the heck is Monokuma anyway? He's not part of the future future foundation, right? Um, if you say that, then what is the future foundation? Jeez. Even though Chiaki and Monomi are gone, the situation hasn't changed one bit, which means the future foundation wasn't our enemy. That's the only thing I can think of. You serious? So they're not world ender? Then we really weren't tricked by Monokuma? However... The Future Foundation is responsible for chopping us on this island, right? Regarding that matter, I believe Monami never once denied that. Damn it. Even if there are allies, they might not just be allies. Maybe Monokuma is telling us to investigate that information on our own. Yep. Chiaki said she could not betray the Future Foundation. But if she were still alive, she definitely would have helped us. No, even her just being with us would have been a big help. Hmm. So what should we do? Damn it. Well, that's obvious. If we're gonna get out of here safely, we have to do that graduation exam, right? So annoying. Graduation exam, huh? I'm not really good at taking exams. <laughs> well, I guess it's better than people dying. Jeez. Monokuma said something about a field trip, right? Is he telling us to investigate like we have been? Alright! Alright, I'm gonna do it! Prepare yourself! Like... Yeah, we might be able to learn something... To learn about something. About Hope Speak Academy. About ourselves. Ah. I don't care if we don't know anymore. If we can just go back to our normal lives, I'm fine. Hey! Hey, we can go home when this is over, right? Ooh, excuse me. We can finally get off this damn island, right? <laughs> if that's the case, let's all leave this island alive by any means. Of course! Hell yes! <laughs> He's right. Now's not the time to, bemo to bemoan how unlucky I am. Where this place really is, what's happened to Hope's Peak Academy, none of that matters. What's important is, we need to leave this island with the others. We sacrificed so many lives in order to survive just so we could do that. There's no way we can stop now. But... Monokuma should already know that that's what we're thinking. So, why did he say that? We have to decide on our own whether or not we want to leave Jabberwock Island. He should, he should already know that we'd never choose to stay on this island. Hey, hey! So, what are we gonna do? Can we start already? Hmm. Well, what are we even looking for? Do we just have to investigate this weird-ass building? Even so. I don't think we'll find the answers to all our questions inside this damn building. <laughs> well, I'll just go on ahead for now and just show off my boobs as usual. <laughs> hey, you're already going? Jeez. What is that idiot thinking running ahead without being cautious? Man. She obviously isn't thinking about anything. I don't know how many brain shells she's brain cells she has in there. However, ooh, I can't talk today. Ooh, lord. It will be fine. There will no longer be any situations where we must exchange each other's lives. All right. So we should do our best as well. Like they say, it is not scary if everyone stops at a green light. If we stopped at the green light, we'd never reach our goal. Jeez, you're pathetic. Akane already took off on her own. It might be faster if we split up and look around, too. Huh. Like Sonya said, if there's no more killing, we don't have to worry about anyone betraying us anymore. <laughs> then let's get this over with and go home. Later. I'll go on ahead. I'll see you guys later. Wouldn't it be insane if somebody did kill somebody else or like, Oh, I don't care that the killing game's over. I just wanted to kill someone. <laughs> Oh, that'd be crazy. With those brief words, Fihiko left the gym. Excuse me. I should do my best to obtain a wonderful clue that will be useful to everyone. Now then, please excuse me. Sonia took a deep bow, then left the gym. Oh my! Miss Sonia! Miss Sonia! Miss Sonia, please don't leave me. I'll be in danger if I'm left alone. You coward. 
you weakling. Kazuichi chased after Sonia, who had just departed and left the gymnasium. Poor Sonia. I bet all this time she's like, please, please, have someone, please kill him. Please. <laughs> oh, this poor woman. I should hurry and start too. Just a bit more. Just a bit more, and it's going to end. I can escape this nightmare and return to my usual peaceful everyday life. The only thing we can do is advance toward that hope. Even though I don't understand, and that a lot of horrifying things keep happening. For the sake of everyone who couldn't make it this far, I'm definitely going to go home. Alright, our final investigation. I... Oh, what are you doing over there? I knew you could do it. Oh, glitchy one. Do we even need these at this point? I mean, you don't get any free time anymore, do ya? We could look at stuff, can we? Actually, no. There's nothing to click on. So, all right, let's go. Oh, magically teleported to the fifth floor, huh? Huh? That's weird. This is the hallway I walked through to get to the gymnasium, but it's clearly different. Uh-oh. Is this what Akuma's doing, too? Why is everything all weird? Is he trying to confuse us again? I don't know how he's doing it, but he keeps doing it over and over again. He's so persistent. But I'm not gonna fall for his trap. There's no way this will make me back down. Okay. Well, we know the fifth floor had a lot of important stuff going on in the first game, so... Um, this hallway, there's a strange feeling to it, no? As if an invisible wall has been erected to limit our movement. I am concerned. Is it just me? No, it's not just you. You can see the walls, though. They're not so invisible. I don't know which way to go. There's so much to look at over here. I forgot what every room was, and they clearly don't have everything labeled, so... Okay. So, this looks like something... Is this the dojo? Yeah. Oh, very pretty still. Is this a dojo? It's full of strange things that made me think there's no way we're inside a school. Perhaps it's a mistake to expect the inside of this building to make sense. You can actually look at this stuff. It's armor and a helmet. Did the map developers design this to reflect a Japanese dojo? Map developers? That's breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> And the whole lockers, training dummy. There's a straw post, I guess that means it was used for training. Look at all the pretty trees. Um, this cherry tree is in full bloom. It may be a tasteful sight to see a blooming cherry tree inside a dojo. But in this situation, it just looks bizarre. The target seemed pretty far away. If the production team had had more time, there could have been a mini game here. Oh my god, they're breaking the fourth wall? What are they doing? <laughs> I mean, it would have been cool to have a mini game, but whatever. Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> wow. The lockers. There are a bunch of wooden lockers here. Each of them has a traditional looking wood block key sticking out of them. I guess they're just for show. There's nothing in particular that looks like a clue. Well, we know in the first game there was uh, like those arrows or whatever tied together in a locker, but not important here. Oh look, a book! Hmm, what is this? Is this a manga? The title is... Manga from Morons! A History of Pope's Peak Academy by Monokuma. That image almost looks like Chiaki? Why is a manga with such a suspicious looking title laying out in the open like this? <laughs> Let's start with history first, class! 
Hey, reading um, manga is the third best way to learn about history. And what's the first, you ask? <laughs> that depends on the person. Whatever. So, just as I thought, Monokuma made this. That totally explains how suspicious it looks. I really want to just ignore it, but there's no way I can do that. Fine, I'll look at it. I'll look at anything that might be a clue to getting out of here, no matter what it is. It kind of looks like Chiaki, but not 100%. With some kind of cat? Looks weird. I picked up the manga off the floor and started flipping through the pages. It's an introduction to Hope Speak Academy's history, as narrated by the cutesy character on the cover. The story begins with an introduction to Hope Speak Academy. Uh, government funded school privilege, where only the most talented high school students can hope to attend, built to raise hope in the nation's future. Uh, nation. Uh, many of its alumni are key leaders of various industries. New students are chosen through a scouting process, but the ones who scout them are Hope Speak Academy's teachers who serve as both educators and researchers of talent. Hope Speak Academy isn't just a school for talent, it is also a school for researching talent as well. However, for the past few years, Hope Speak Academy has been suffering from a decline in funding. If this persists, the Academy believes they will not be able to make progress with their research of talent. So they decided to implement a new system, the Reserve Department, which really pisses me off, but okay, here we go. Unlike the main department, who scouts for students, the Reserve Department utilizes a general entrance exam. Normal faculty was hired and placed in charge of looking after the Reserve Department. The expenses and exam fees for the Reserve Department are quite high compared to most schools. I mean, it's, it's, like, a, it's like a scam, really. Nevertheless, Hope Speak Academy received an endless stream of applicants. Hope Speak Academy was now available to talentless commoners, people who only cared about the brand. With this, Hope Speak Academy managed to amass sizable funds and began further research of talent. To create Hope Speak Academy's earnest wish, a true genius who could become mankind's hope. It's really crazy. But just when they thought everything was going well, an unprecedented incident occurred. The incident that triggered the tragedy. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That's right, it was the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy, all started by this stupid little witch named Junko Inoshima. Yeah, we know. If only they had never brought her into that school. Hope's Peak Academy was crippled by this incident and was forced to shut down without accomplishing anything. The end. Wow. Huh? The ending was so sudden, like a manga that suddenly cancelled in the middle of its run. Plus, these phrases mentioned at the end of this manga. The tragedy. And the tragedy of Host Peak Academy. These names were so melodramatic, yep. There's no way these incidents really happened, right? This manga only mentions the name, so I don't really know the details, but... No, it'd just be a waste of time to wonder about these things that don't make sense. Most importantly, I learned something because of this manga, the Reserve Department. That department was only built to collect money. Oof. I was one of those Reserve Corps students, right? But hold on! Ah, that's weird! Oh, you're here again. Ah, the thing that's weird is you, of course! Huh? Hey! Why did you forget that you were part of the Reserve Department? The Future Foundation only took away your school life memories, right? But you should have known even before you entered that you had no talent, right? So I think it's weird that you actually forgot something like that, too. What do you want me to say? By the way... Hmm, based on my assumption, the Future Foundation must have wanted to hide the fact that you were one of those Reserve Corps students. I got it! Or you willingly sealed those memories yourself. Huh? <laughs> you wanted to become confident in yourself, so you wanted to forget everything that embarrassed you. Gosh, if we could all do that... Whew, that would be a lot, right? A lot to forget. <laughs> you know, when humans experience trauma, sometimes they erase their memory of what happened. <laughs> it happens pretty often. Not that I know anything about that, though. Are you saying it's my fault I forgot? 
That's not it. Come on. When things get inconvenient, you always get angry and try to brush it off. Well, that's expected of a reserve course student. Calling him out. Damn it, what the heck? Yeah. Anger is a, a good way of reacting to cover of fear, you know? It's a natural instinct. Okay, so we did that. We saw that this right there. Oh! I forgot about you. Okay, you are clearly in a cocoon. I'm purposely not cleaning the poopy. What's going on? This hallway is kind of creepy. I can't go to places that I should be able to go to. It's like some rule is being enforced for no reason. <laughs> it's like there's an invisible wall or something. Yeah, you look all glitchy. So here's another room we can't go to. Oh, very matrixy. I still can't go in here. So what's the point of this one? Let's see. Wasn't it just here before? Hmm, dojo. Where else am I supposed to go now? See, this one is still... I don't know. Oh, already? Hey! I'm surprised they got Osami again, considering I have despair. That was not my intention. Wait, did I already have this on before? There was another one I, I think I was trying to get. And it looks like it didn't work. Oh well. Oh, this one wasn't open before, was it? Actually, you know what? We'll end this episode right here. Uh, I don't want to keep going and then get stuck in something else very long. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye-bye.